getting right at night with OG. Oh, 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 Jesus. Power 98.3 and 96.1 for the East Valley. All right, y'all. It's that Get Right at Night right here on Power 98.3, 96.1 for the East Valley. Special guest hanging out with me this evening. Filthy. Rich, how you doing? What's happening? What's happening? Golly, you blinded me with all this jewelry, my man. Oh, we light today. You, what? Really now? Yeah. This is light work right here? <laughs> it's light work. Yeah. Who carries this jewelry? I see all the people in the room. Tell me who carries this jewelry and do you really trust me? Them with all this? Okay, good. Because I'm about yeah. to say. No, I but I, 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 tr I trust everybody around me, you know, but you still got mostly, mostly I carry it. All right. Where were you guys at before this? Um, we were just up in Tucson. How was that for you? That drive ran. That's horrible. It was man. cool. It was cool. We you can just... be honest, man. It was horrible. It no, was it was cool. Ain't nothing, man. It was cool. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Talk to us. You dropped that project, Sam God. How's that yeah, going for you? It's going good. Uh, came out November 17th. That's right. Dropped a video today off the album. That was winning um, team. Yeah, winning team. Single doing good. We're just we're just on a promo run right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How's that? How's that treating you, man? How's all the fans treating you? How's everyone treating you? I mean. It's, it's it's good, you know. You just got to put in that work. Okay. And some some artists not ready for that, you know, for the interviews, the road life, being away from their family. Yeah. But you know, it come with the grind. What pushes you, uh, in that sense that you away from the family, away from from people you love, just to be out here on the road? Yeah, because I know I gotta. It, at the end of the day, it's um to it benefit all of us, okay. and it's a bigger dream that I'm chasing. Yeah. You know, and I'm I'm sure that they, you know, know that I'm doing something positive, so they should be happy with that. All right, so this project came out. Are we still working, or are we just focusing on this? Well, what's the plan here? Um, I got other tapes already done. Other releases going to be released in 2018. But right now, we just focus on the Sim Guy album, pushing that. Um, you know, just working a single and just hitting all these cities and states. On that whole project, what was your favorite joint? I know everyone makes the the album and the project. You're like, man, the whole thing's my favorite. But was there one uh, song in particular you were like, yo, okay, this right here? I like them all. I don't yeah. really, I don't really, cause it, because each one means something different. Okay. So it's not just like, okay, that's just my favorite joint. That's the only one I like. No, I like the whole body of work. Yeah. So uh, I like every song on the, on the album. Any other projects from other artists you listening to that you might be maybe hip to? that you? Um, I'm I'm listening to Lil Baby from Atlanta, yeah. uh, Moneybag Yo from Memphis, uh, Lucci, uh, Young Dolph. Um, I listen to a lot of, um, really, I listen to a lot of people that's like, like sign already at the okay, top, okay. you know what I'm saying? Because that's where I want to be. So yeah, yeah. I just try to, you know, stay in tune with that. I really don't listen to too much like underground or okay. shit like that. You're from uh, if I get don't get me don't sock me up in the face if I get this wrong. You're from Oakland, no. right? Yeah, Oakland. Oakland. How is it that the Bay is so so well connected and everyone messes with each other? At least I feel like it outside looking in. I, I'm not in the city. I don't know, but other cities are like here in Arizona. Hey. Oh, one rapper will be like, yo, how come you're not on? Because the other rapper don't like me. Yeah. And, and I feel like from the Bay, just in general, everyone messes I mean, I just feel like you got to put your footwork in and they, and they um, once they see that, yeah. you know, you uh, you, uh, you uh, accumulate that that respect. Okay. I mean, because there's a lot of rappers that come and go in the Bay Area that you guys might have never heard of, have one song, never been seen, never been on a road, never did an interview, never did a show. You know what I'm saying? But it's a lot of people that put in that footwork and then, you know, the real ones, they recognize that okay. and they, and, you know, and they and they give a pass down that respect. There you go. You've been in the game for a cold minute, so how do you feel about these younger cats coming up, man? We got to talk about it. Young cats as in in the as Bay? In like the, no, not just in general, like the little, little pumps of the world. Uh, um, uh, I'm not really in tune to, to, to that. To that. Yeah, no disrespect to him or whatever oh, or yeah. any of the rappers you're talking about. I kind of just try to stay in my lane. Okay, so yeah. we'll talk. Your lane is your lane, but these guys' lane is talking about like the the lean, uh, the pills and stuff like that. Little Pete passed away from it. Do you feel like artists need to watch what they say now? Of course, yeah. I stopped sipping syrup myself. Um, recently, or? yeah, recently, oh. probably about a month now. Uh, well, because I'm, of some some happened, or just because? Um, I just felt like it wasn't for me. Okay, I was over it. You get what I'm saying? But um, yeah, they need to watch what they say because not just are you an artist, whatever you're. Um, a public figure yeah. and there's people that look up to you and they you know they might they might want to try this and that because of you rapping about that's it right, that's right so you, you gotta you know you gotta watch what you say i mean you don't have to necessarily watch what you say but you got to make sure that you know you're influencing people that's right i mean if we talk about influences like that yeah, i grew up on like game g and then they were talking about weed and getting girls and shit like that and i was cool with it I was getting girls and smoking a whole lot of weed. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. But then we get to the younger kids. I got I got little brothers who follow the little pumps and stuff like that. So I just want to know from artist point of view. Yeah. You guys feel like like you said you guys do influence the youth a lot. Of course. Do you 
tell these like mean younger artists like yo don't really i mean i don't i don't i don't necessarily like, tell them like what not to do yeah i mean i might tell them what, what might be the consequence not just to do it you know what i'm saying but this can happen also so it's really your decision if you decide to do it or not i mean like you said like it's the youth so nowadays you can't tell a youth nothing they, nah. they don't want to be told anything anyway so they don't get beat no more i got yeah, beat when i was a kid you could you could tell them not to do it and that'll probably make them want to do it more yeah you right on that man i follow you on the gram i could have swore something happened with you i broke my phone so i didn't get the whole story but something happened on the gram look y'all laughing now but something happened you were supposed to go what? live last night at 10 i and did I, and i, I phone broke yeah i went live last I night i got my new phone today and i went i was like man i, I, I think the story's still up is it still up i didn't really check it because i was trying yeah. to focus you know get it back up set up but what happened um it was a situation where someone had um uh, made a couple comments in the interview that i didn't um agree with so you know i just voiced my opinion on that uh, okay. you know a, a lot of a lot of people right um they don't know how to deal with other people's success oh yeah so yeah. that's real life um they want to right their wrongs and bring the next man down and try to assassinate their character to make their um, self look bigger okay. or, or, or um, portray to be an image that they not. So with that being said, I just voiced my opinion on that, what was said about me, and I'm going to just leave it at that, man. Um, I am going to say the wrong thing. No, 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 you good, you good, man. I'm going to... Uh, <laughs> We gonna we gonna pray for that man. <laughs> there you go, right mm -hmm. there. I right, mean, any people that you want to look that you want to work with, work with, one, uh, looking forward to working with someone in mind, you just want to put it out there. You gotta wish uh, it out there. I know I don't want to do that because I want to jinx myself. Okay. So you know, ain't that the whole thing that you supposed to wish it out there? Say it. No, sometimes you talk into it into existence, but I feel like you know what it's kind of different with the music. Okay, you know, because you can um, you might say somebody name that somebody don't mess with, and then uh, people that you that you could have worked with uh, won't work with you because you like oh you you, you rock with him so, yeah. yeah or they can get offended yeah. like oh you ain't shout me out you know what I'm saying plus I ain't what, with you no more. yeah so you know I, I mean whoever I come across and work with you know it is what it is where do you see yourself in five years in five years Where's um, filthy rich in five years really Still just really rich. of course we, I'm gonna be <laughs> filthy rich no matter five ten years twenty years but you know just you know being on top of my business more. Um, a mogul, you know what I'm saying? Um, right now we're just building this brand with the clothing. Nice. Um, just dropped my own weed strand. We just we just looking at different things to do besides that music. Is how you pay the weed industries? No, it. that no, that just happened. That just happened. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Well, you about to be even more. <laughs> that just happened. That. How yeah. do you, how do you, how does one get in touch with a, a own weed strand? Like you just mix this one, mix that one, and then no, you talk to somebody that you know that that's in tune to that or whatever, and just you know put your input on it and how you and what kind of weeds you want and the name on it and stuff and shit like that and then go from What's there. What's the name of yours? Um, Kills on Gelato Five Nine. Oh snap! Yeah, it's available at the Green Door in the Bay Area and in Sacramento. Kills on Gelato. Gelato's yeah. like yeah. a perfect sell, but Kills on. Yeah, Kills on. That was the name of one of my albums. That's also the um name of my my area of my neighborhood. Oh, for real now. Yeah. So so I just you know everything I be doing, I be, it be something to do with my neighborhood or whatever. So I just put that together. And, just made it work like that. There you go, right there. You in the town tonight. You at the international this evening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Scottsdale. Looking forward to that. What can we expect when you? Uh, I don't know if you're doing any songs, but at least hosting the club. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you get pretty turned up, or you pretty laid back. I be chilling. I mean, you get what I'm saying. It's, it's gonna be turned up though for sure. Though I hope a lot of sexy ladies come Ooh, out tonight. That's the spot to be. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, There's that's a, a spot. Here. Let me not disrespect that. That's a swap. Yeah. She told me that too, though. Oh, okay, cool. Then yeah. you got to take two or three back to the crib. Then yeah. good. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Nah. All right, man. Uh, <laughs> let them know social networks, all that good stuff, where they can find you. Yeah, you can uh, hit me on my website, www.filthyrichfod, Instagram, Twitter, filthyrichfod. And then if you got the iTunes, make sure. Yeah, iTunes, grab YouTube, Sim God. Yeah, you can. Sim God, one of the hottest albums out right now. Make sure you go pick that up on iTunes and stores everywhere. What title? All, all, all the all sites the you can get it from. Yeah, he got it. Mm -hmm. he, as you can tell, he got it. Look nah. at the chain. <laughs> How much is on your neck? Just your neck. Uh. -huh. Look, he thinking. That's how you know it's a lot. That's how you know it's a lot. Well, seventy. I got the I, I watch. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you want the same page as little bit? Yeah. It's just three fifty. You yeah. know what I'm <laughs> but you got big dreams though. That's to see. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. All right, man, it's that get right at night, right here on power.